Last time, he was defeated and annihilated. But it was not entirely finished yet. Killing Floor Games presents Patriarch Special. This time we are in suicidal but with level 2 perks. Four player teams will be facing a new type of ride. Being pissed off from the last time, Bloats and Gorefast will be joining in Wave 11. As long as the big boss stays alive, children will be spawning endlessly. Signups are now open, and if you'd like to join the tournament, go to KillingFloorGames.com and register your team today. Okay, so good afternoon everybody and welcome to the live stream of the Kitra Special 2017. This is a pre-show and I'm Mart, I will be your host today, along with three other people who got here, or well, four actually. And those are Ag, Pink Perfect, Pump Action Pete and Reaper. And I'd like to thank you gentlemen for sitting with me today. Hello everyone. Glad to be here. Hello. Good to be here. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks for joining me gentlemen. Um, could you guys give yeah, my pleasure. Could you guys give like a small introduction about yourself, of um, your history with the Killing Floor games? Yeah, who wants to go first? Let's go, go alphabetical. <laughs> or I can start. Hi everybody, I'm Ed. Yeah, you want to go? Uh, I'm with the MGC crew. Uh, I've played in a couple of tournaments now, starting with the... Uh, I think it was the Badass tournament, it was the first one I was in, which was one hell of a trial by fire. Um, yeah, and I'm still with the crew now, so uh, we're looking forward to the new tournament and seeing what new teams we've got in. Yeah, you also played, I think, I don't think you played in the last one, Eck. I think you missed that one, is that right? Yeah, well, I was there for the practice matches, but we got knocked out pretty early mm. due to unforeseen circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Can always happen. And then, of course, uh, we also have Reaper here, which is actually also the former champion of the last tournament. Hello everyone, um, yeah, my original team was Reaper's Squad, uh, my current team now is called Team Synergy. I've been playing Killing Floor for about three years now, and yeah, absolutely loving it. Loving the, taunt loving the uh, tournaments, it's really good, keeping the Killing Floor community alive, yeah. Yeah, and um, Reaper's, uh, Reaper's Death Squad was the last uh, name you guys went on? Yeah, it was our original name, but yeah, we, did, uh, we decided to change the Team Synergy. Hmm. Okay, so we have to keep that in mind, because that will be in a, a good playing team, I assume? Yep. I was the victor, we were the victors, so yeah, for sure, yeah. look out for us. It was pretty good, because uh, you did it in one go, eh? I mean, it's the first time you guys yeah. played, go to all the it rounds. the first tournament, yeah, for us. And then become champions, which was quite uh, impressive. Not many teams uh, are able to pull that off. So it was great to see. Yeah, we were quite proud of that one. It was a great achievement. Yeah, and mm, then we have top uh, effort. Absolutely, and then we have uh, Pump Action Pete, who is also our team builder uh, this time around. Hello, yeah, um, I'm in the same boat as Egg. Uh, my first tournament was the Badass tournament, and um, yeah, I did manage to play in the previous tournament as well, the Veterans 2016. Um, sadly, we got knocked out in the first round due to foreseen circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a curveball there, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm really enjoying it and putting my best effort to keep the community alive if I can. Yeah, and of course, uh, in the Badass tournament, you also played, I think, reached a top three spot, eh? Yeah, I think we came second um, overall, yeah. yeah. Which was quite a tough tournament to... Uh, That's pretty good, yeah, for the Badass tournament. That was a hard tournament, that one. Yeah, to begin with, it was uh, pretty tough already. It's a great achievement. Now, uh, to what you share, guys, Pink Perfect is gonna do um, share something in the chat. So keep an eye on that. He's probably uh, have a surprise for everybody uh, in the chat. So watch that chat, it's coming soon. And also later at the end of the live stream, we will also do a small giveaway and we're gonna give an, uh, a digital copy of the ball game away. Yeah, looking forward to that. Sweet. Yeah. And you guys, Sounds of course, can uh, join as well. So that will be a little bit of the end of the stream. So uh, we're going to look back to uh, the old tournament before we go to the new tournament. 
Um, last tournament we had a four-player setup. That seemed to work very well. That was the first time we went with that four-player setup. We're going to resume that in a new tournament. Keep that four players. Um, I think also from this team we had a lot of good feedback on that. You know, people find it more easier to build those teams. And uh, so we keep that set up. Um, we're also going to do the short ones, which is uh, Wave 6 to 11. The rather short format. And, yeah, uh, it did help with uh, having four players for sure. It uh, made it easier for everyone to show up. Yeah. So I think um, you mentioned earlier, Act, that you also rather enjoy more the, uh, you know, the 1 to 11 format. Uh, well, I'm a little bit on the fence on both modifications. I can certainly see the pros of smaller teams in terms of having fewer cats to herd. And also, uh, the shorter match, um, starting at wave 6, certainly cuts down the amount of time. Because uh, a full 1 to 11 is usually about an hour or at least a fair chunk of it. And uh, 6 to 11, you can get it done much quicker, which means you can get in a lot more practices if you need to check out all the maps. Which can get pretty punishing if it's, I don't know, if there's a dozen yeah, maps that's exactly to check right, out. Yeah. yeah, it can take ages just to do them all once. And then if you need to, you know, refine something, well, yeah, That's certainly the be benefit to having a wave 6 to 11, yeah, for sure. But yeah. in a lot more practice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit slow off the mark and I need to shoot a few clots before I get into the big Zs or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, for a lot of people, we... Uh, Said they like it because we sort of took the warming up away, you know the uh, the bits where everybody does what they should do. You know the logical part. Most people won't fail under that uh, wave five. That's where they still keep it alive. But uh, yeah, yeah, certainly to... everyone's pretty comfortable with how to hose down thirty clots or whatever. So yeah, in the day we just took the best of both worlds. You know, you could pick a short game which has four waves with pets or a medium game but the long game has the longer wave so we took the long game and then you know cut the intro away from it and that became the final setup yeah i love the um wave six star it's straight into the action it's awesome yeah there's certainly no messing about <laughs> oh absolutely yeah so yeah um that was a little bit last tournament and we had 19 teams around it was a good success and um but we did set a lot of people, which we assume, because it was the last one was a classic veterans tournament. That was level six and on earth. Um, it was a little bit too easy for some teams, they said. You know, it's it's a classic layout. You know, people got to level six perks, they play on Hell on Earth, they are managing to do that for a while. So uh, we came back with a new challenge. And this time Patriarch Special and uh, we're playing on suicidal this time, but with level two perks. Yeah, the main difference with this tournament is uh, it's all about survival, not and uh, not as much time completion this time. It's uh, how well the team can survive with the harder perks and everything. Yeah, and I think you already played a little bit uh, with the mutator reaper. Is that correct? Yeah, we've done. Uh, we did. We did two practice games tonight, so we've uh, had a little taste of what it's going to be like, and it's it's a challenge, all right. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, and also in the last wave, you find that Gorefest and Bloats are joining. Yeah, and it's a uh, constant. The constant enemy spawn on the Patriarch, so that when you put pipes down for the Patriarch, there's a chance that a bloat or a Gorefast will walk over it and, yeah, completely screw you up. <laughs> yeah, so unlimited sets will be there. Um, so it's a little bit more distraction than usually, and uh, yeah, we're going to see how people deal with it. You know, how are they going to deal with the many sets around them? Yeah, it adds a big challenge onto it, for sure. Yeah. So just a little bit for the Patriarch special, there is a Suicide Level 2. We do, do going to give Level 4 discounts. So you might have level 2 perk, but you still get the discounts of a level 4 perk. So it's a little bit more affordable. And you get 1600 spawn cash in wave 6. So there should be um, enough for the people to actually buy a lo loadout and go to the... Um... Yeah, I think it's a, f I think it's a fair uh, dosh start, to be honest. Yeah. And I like the level 4 economy level. It uh, gives it that challenge feel to it, and it also keeps it fair. Like level 2 economy would be too hard, I reckon. Yeah. yeah, it's a good trade-off, that's for sure. So it's really uh, tough to um, to maintain it, especially when you get a debt. You should be able to recover somewhat. But uh, yeah, the, the trade-off is suicidal. Eh? A little bit uh, lighter difficulty and a little bit more easier game. But difficult part is a different perk levels, which a lot of perks have uh, higher recoil as well, which is a challenge for something like a commando. Oh yeah, the commander's uh, recoil is ridiculous with level level two perks. Yeah, uh, as a big challenge to the game. 
so this uh, this is also a challenge for people and also Helen Nerd has difficulties as well to itself like uh, you know that this, the spawn radio is higher so suicidal is a good step back but uh, perk levels will be uh, tough to deal with now uh, yeah, Pete, sure. you uh, you're going to be the team builder this time around can you uh, explain something about the people what they can do, can they do when they are alone or don't have a team yeah well um all people have to really do is uh, go to the Killing Floor page on Steam, the KFG page, and uh, throw a message onto the um, discussion there. Um, yeah. There's a discussion just for uh, this purpose, for new signups. And um, myself and Aris are both team builders. We'll both uh, do our best to, you know, get a little team going, uh, throw in a team with some other people uh, likewise, and, um, yeah, set you on your way. Yeah, so this is purely based for people who don't have a team. Um, you know, they don't have yeah. anybody to find. And it doesn't matter if you're from Australia or Brazil or Europe. You know, there's different lists we keep up to and try to mix people a little bit in the same group. Yeah, it's really good of you to do that, Pete. Yeah. And yeah, I, yeah, and we'll give our, you know, give all our help we can get, um, give to people if they need us, and um, we can also train yep. with them if they'd like it. Yeah. The plus one? Yeah, the bigger the tournament, the more fun, more people to compete against, the better, I reckon. Absolutely. And, um, well, Eck, you can probably also say that. Did you improve uh, in the tournaments, like you know, before you started and after you came out of it? Did you saw yourself uh, developing? Oh, yeah. Vastly. Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I learned heaps. Uh, when I started, uh, certainly when I started practicing for the Badass tournament, I was playing in uh, Hell on Earth, but uh, reasonably regularly and with a reasonable success rate. But after the Badass tournament, um, I knew a lot more about how the game worked. I learned a lot from um, the other people in the team, mm. uh, which is really handy. It was also really useful to find out uh, how the strategy behind sorting out the economy and weapon switches, all of that type of stuff, how all of that worked. Exactly. Uh, and also it was really good to have a team uh, of really great guys uh, to play a co-op game with. So that was fantastic. Oh. So yeah, I learned stacks about this game. Yeah, amazing. And also... Yeah, uh, I also found with the original the Veterans Tournament, I, uh, I played Sharpshooter a lot better after that tournament. It made me a really good Sharp. And uh, it just made me a better team player in general. Yeah, it's the same for me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you look to some of the games, uh, probably since the beginning, where you play, uh, you know, just alone on a server, I mean, maybe with a friend, perhaps, that uh, it's already hard sometimes to, you know, to work together with some people. But um, in this tournament, it will ask you to do that on the very highest level, of course. You know, work together as a team. Yeah, I find the tournament conditions certainly push it to the limit. Uh, so you really need, you really learn to get your teamwork down, or 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 you die. <laughs> <laughs> nice to put <laughs> yeah amen to that yeah so uh, we're going to do have a s sort of five minute small break um, it's not really a break it's just um, a way to confirm the uh, for the prices so what you do guys you just type price in the chat that's about it and then we know uh, you want to join us yep. and I will type an example right now so that's how it looks just price and then we know you want to join the, the live stream uh, price question or giveaway and then uh, five minutes to submit the answers. We'll just put a waiting screen on, then when it's over, I'm gonna draw the winner. So, um, see you guys in five minutes. Sweet stuff. All right, we'll be right back. See you soon.
Okay, so um, that was it. Five minutes are over, guys. No longer taking. Welcome uh, back, everyone. No longer taking new candidates. This will be a copy for the ball game, and well, let's pull up the roster for getting the winners. So let's have a head count here. We got four people who uh, who joined the, uh, the giveaway, and the first one uh, will get it. There's gonna be in the bar the winners who's gonna draw it. So let's have a look. See. Okay, we have it here, boys. It's called Paulius Workout, and he has won the giveaway. So, congratulations, Paul, and you will get um, a PM on Twitch. Oh, congratulations. With, uh, with your copy of the ball game. Score. Okay, so, um, so guys, I want to have some predictions for the, uh, for the later part of the tournament. How many guys you think are going to pass the first round with this setup out of the 20 teams? Oof. Yep. How many are going to survive? It can be eight only to the quarterfinals. Do you think all the 20 teams are going to survive? Are we going to see a few failures? What do you think the uh, radio is going to be? Well, well, there's definitely going to be a few failures. We're probably going to see a few failures. Yeah, exactly. There's going to be a few failures. Yeah, I think yeah, I agree. Yeah, those conditions are pretty tricky, so it's going to take some skill to yeah, get through. Sure. You can't just walk through, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah you've got to practice a lot. If you don't practice, you're screwed. No, you're going to fail if you don't practice. Yeah, I think the uh, the cutoff percentage is higher than the last tournament. Um, the last tournament was also one of the tournaments we had the most successful radio in round one. A lot of teams uh, went through. And we had also the huge barrage of uh, good teams as well. Uh, you know, Reaper Crew was there. We had the MGC Devils, the Muppets. We had HDR. We had V52, um, Reaper Crew. So there were a lot of good teams, and um, we already see uh, teams registered as well. And I've seen some of the guys already play from the new squads, and uh, there's quite a bit of competition coming your way. Because yeah, that's uh, what we like to see. Though there's one or two teams already joining there at the top, so uh, I think we're seeing the bar being raised again in this tournament. Well, I'm quite looking forward to uh, seeing what people pull out, just in terms of uh, perk mix, uh, what strategies they use. In the last tournament, we saw some pretty innovative stuff, so uh, it's going to be good to see what people come well, up dude. with this time. Yep, I agree more. I heard also uh, old schools making a return as well. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. HDR going to be in this one? Uh, not sure, not sure. Um, oh, okay. The uh, the leader of old schools returning as well. They didn't have their original leader in the last tournament, which was Shiva. So he's uh, returning as well. So it's going to be interesting what they pull off. And uh, yeah, we're going to see. Right, registration only starts for one day. Um, for the viewers, uh, you need four players to sign up. So gather your groups around, go to the website and uh, sign up. We also have a new uh, website as well, which should explain things a little bit more clear. I wonder if anyone will try the uh, damnation principle. Could you explain uh, what that is, Reaper, to the viewers? Oh, King's Indian Defense told me to say that, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> King's ought to tell me. Promoting King's, excellent. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, so yeah, that 10 May is going to sign up, it's going to close, and uh, you can no longer get it. So just one month to sign up. And then after each weekend, there is uh, the rounds of following. Round one, quarterfinals, semifinals, grand finals. Also, this time around, guys, we're going to do the best out of three format. And we probably already experienced that. Which is, uh, we have to play three maps instead of one. Yeah, that was for the grand finals. We had the uh, three games in the one, didn't we? And then the semifinals was... That was yeah. one as well. I think there was Hellride, Bethlehem, and... Um, yeah, that was well, a real challenge, though. Yep. Yeah. Hellride was a really real challenge that. to beat. Yeah, it just misses a little bit uh, the finer tip of the skill, eh? to measure that, to to play just a yeah. little bit more on, on different maps. So that's going to return as well. So um, there were some que questions before in the chat. Uh, we can answer them if you like right now. So if you had questions earlier that weren't answered, 
just uh, pop them in. Ooh, I'll take the first one. How to kill zombies. Point gun, pull trigger. <laughs> Fantastic answer there by Egg. Get, get mouse, <laughs> right click, shoot. Left click. Yeah, many hours of experience much sums it up. these yep. things. <laughs> Not much questions. What is something to share also within this term is this time around you can find no ammo boxes. So we disable those. Yeah, they to, can put uh, you on. Make it a little bit equal among all the teams. And there should be some yeah, new map editions, Mars. Yeah. I believe it's uh, Aperture and uh, Mana, which have been added. Yeah, there's an, um, a map pack available this time around, and uh, Aperture is, uh, is making a return again. There's a few other things where we applied some fixes in. Hillibur Horror is returning as well. It has a small uh, performance tweak on it. Yeah, I'll be keen to see those in action. So, uh, yeah, a couple new maps as well. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, it'll be nice to see Aperture in the mix. Uh, Martin, yeah. have you made some modifications actually... to it? Because I seem to recall Aperture had quite a few weapon spawns on it. Yeah, we actually sure um, actually removed them, but also disabled the buttons. So, um, you find a closed door when you press that button. <laughs> Yeah, there used to be an M79 as well you can find in the rooms. So those are all disabled. And um, yeah, we, we fixed a couple of things that were annoying in the map, like uh, Zets getting stuck at certain locations. So that's all um, pretty playable right now. Sounds good. And of course, we also have a new uh, bracket system this time around. Mm, usually, yep, bracket system. usually you would play... Um, you, you're, you could book a match in two weekends and you would play each other. But this time around, we made it a little bit more stricter and said that um, you know, if, if people play, then they all play within 12 hours. So if there's a bracket of four teams, then that, bra that whole bracket plays within a uh, time of 12 hours. Yeah, it prevents uh, other teams trying to spy on other teams and getting uh, tactical information. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's all very nearby. And um, yeah, that should... Uh, a little bit more fairness as well. In, it, in the end of the day, you still have to uh, win and do it better than the other team. Okay, well, I don't think there's much spice question. Meanwhile, I do say that Pink Perfect has submitted uh, his uh, surprise message, which is quite attractive, I see to get uh, double uh, slots on your game server. I'm just gonna put a link in here for those who don't know the link of the website. So guys, before we go to the end of the stream, was there anything you'd like to share with the audience, with the people, or uh, for the upcoming tournament? Look out, we're a competition. We have a team synergy. <laughs> yeah, so we can expect you guys for sure, Reaper. And um, yeah, looking forward yep, to we'll see your there. team. See if you guys... Yep. Uh, hopefully can manage to uh, reclaim the title of champions oh yeah for sure uh, that's our that's our priority we're gonna we're gonna try and win again <laughs> defend the title huh yeah yeah gotta <laughs> defend that title okay so um i'd like to thank everybody here with me today for the live stream egg pete no worries uh, Reaper and also Pink Perfect, and uh, we're gonna see you guys uh, at ten. Well, after the registration in the uh, in the service, of course. See uh, yep. what people are gonna pull off with this tournament. See how they manage. Oh, it'll be great to see. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah, there was one question I still like to cover, which was asked uh, beforehand: is um, are you guys gonna do some Killing Floor Two events? That was asked a little bit in the beginning of the live stream. Well, the answer to that is that um, well, we're first gonna fin finish this, of course the Killing Floor 1 tournament. And that will give us a little bit of feedback on the interest and how alive the Killing Floor 1 community still is. Now after that, we're gonna have a look uh, hosting something small for Killing Floor 2, like an, uh, you know, s s something like in one weekend, because uh, the game are quite different from each other. 
Uh, maybe few already heard of the game conductor, which is changing elements in the games. Uh, we probably have to shut down things like that uh, deep into the code. So there's a little bit of work for us leaving to make it a bit nice competition. So there, there's work for... Um, yeah, you need a way for it to be um, out of early... Oh, it's, it's early, early access now, but it's still going to receive a lot of updates. So yeah, yeah that's the game will well. change a lot. The, uh, the balance can change as well during an update. And that's uh, it's not too happy for a tournament or an event. So we're going to take it slowly. And we're going to probably start with just a very small event with you know four or eight teams. And um, try out how it goes. So there's definitely uh, something in the line. We just don't, don't know when. And we're going to communicate probably a little bit with Tripwire to don't have updates. So it doesn't uh, interrupt our events. So there's something coming. Just uh, there's quite a bit of work left to present something nicely. Uh, with all the random elements that the game offers. And we have to polish that away first before we do something. Mm -hmm. So uh, once more, thanks a lot for coming, guys. And um, No problem. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you for all the viewers for watching with us. Good to be here. Hope to see everybody in the tournament. Yep, yeah, see you guys see later. You